is what's going on. This anime sensei here, and I'm just making. What if Naruto was a bounty hunter? I hope you guys are gonna enjoy. Also, um, join my new Discord. Link is gonna be in the description. Also, go check out my other channel, Deadly Chaos, and uh, go check out the last bit I've created. This is most likely gonna be a pre-record. Probably not gonna release it as soon as it's will record. So this is most likely a pre-record when I release it. You know, just to let y'all know. But um, we start off with Naruto recovering about a week after the Sasuke retrieval mission, as he's been slowly recovering, as he had realized something from that mission. Sasuke didn't care about him. Sasuke didn't. He knew two shits about him. As he realized that, he clenched his fist, realizing all that effort was just for someone he thought was his friend, but in reality, wasn't. As Naruto decided on something, even if he made a promise to Sakura, he would, he's given up on Sasuke. He has no time for that. Nor Sasuke. He has no time for him. As he still needs to become Hokage one day and train. So he gives up there. As Sakura and Kakashi come to visit him. As suddenly Sakura asks him, where's Sasuke at? As at this point, no one's really known how the mission went, since no one's been allowed to see the people. It's only been like a few days. As Naruto tells him, I didn't get him. As Sakura looks at him enraged, yelling at him, You bastard! How could you not get Sasuke? How could you? You're just a demon. Just a demon that no one's ever gonna care about. As Sakura screams these hurtful words to Naruto, he suddenly tells, yells at him, Get out. Get out. As Sakura is pretty much stunned from his killing intent that he's given off at the moment. As Naruto had never yelled at her before. So she was kind of confused on that. As Kakashi realizes, he messed up. One, teaching Sasuke the Chidori, and two, stall. He should have got there in time to prevent this from happening. Because he realizes this isn't his fault. He, re- he realizes he needs to give Naruto his space. As him and Sakura leave, Naruto thinks to himself, all that effort I put in for him, everything. I did everything for her. I went beyond. Just for her to turn like that. Wow. Crazy. Now suddenly, he gets pulled to his mindscape. As he's coming face to face with a fox. A giant fox behind a cage. Known as the Nine Tails. Or the QB. As Naruto sees the Nine Tails, he's confused. Uh oh, you, what do you want? Why'd you bring me here? As Kurama pretty much just telling him that he wants to explain to him his heritage and where he comes from. As he tells about his heritage, telling him he's the son of. Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namikaze. Naruto shocked. And he asks, well, what happened to them? Did they abandon me? Did they leave me? What happened? As Kurama, in this timeline, both halves were sealed into him, so he's nicer than abandoned. As he tells Naruto, it was me. It's Naruto getting angry. Really angry. As Kurama tells him, as he slowly feels his chakra getting drained and going to Naruto, he calms him down, telling him, 
that I was under Genjutsu when this happened. I didn't do it well. It was, I was controlled by a masked man, he said. As Naruto ponders on this, and you can tell that he is telling the truth. As Naruto proceeds to be acquainted with Kurama, realizing it, with Kurama congratulating him on giving up on Uchiha, realizing that it was useless. As we fast forward to the next day, Naruto had gotten out. As he's still gonna, whatchamacallit, still gonna become a bounty hunter, don't worry. That's literally the point of it, but it, it's just, um, give it a second. As Naruto suddenly gets pulled into an alleyway as he's walking back to his house, suddenly he comes face to face with a few Ambu and a man with bandages on one of his eyes. As Naruto looks at them, asking what do they want with him, they tell him that they want him to join the Ambu. With Naruto rejecting that, he pretty much rejects it. Not wanting to be an Anbu as he's heard of them with ways. As he managed to body flip, yes. And Canon, he, he knows the body flicker now in this timeline. As he bought her body flickers out of there. Pretty much. Pretty much. As uh, Naruto does decide on something, hmm. instead of being a hunger, what about a bounty hunter? As I heard from the old man, referring to Jiraiya, he was once a bounty hunter. Yeah, and this time when Jiraiya was a pretty good bounty hunter. As Naruto goes to find Jiraiya, with an Jiraiya's greeting Naruto. As Naruto looks at Jiraiya, he asks him one thing. Listen, Jiraiya Sensei, do you think you can teach me? Or not teach me, but guide me in a way to become a bounty hunter. As Jiraiya is seemingly shocked, yet. He manages to keep a calm demeanor and, and tells him, sure, why not? As we proceed a few months later, as they're getting ready to go for the trip, Naruto's pretty much told you, pretty much gotten some training, learned how to hunt, because Naruto did not know how to hunt. He learned a few new jutsu, such as wind style. He got wind style. Um, he's now in walking water style, and he's learned a few Hanbu techniques, such as the one, um, from the new Boruto episode, y'all watched that? With, uh, no, not the new one, but the one with Hoki and, uh, um, Enojin, yeah, the one Hoki used against Enojin, he knows that technique, he knows a few more Hanbu techniques. As to be a bounty hunter, you're going to need some techniques similar to the Ambu as Ambu hunters and bounty hunters kind of do use some of the same techniques. So yeah, that's why I said Ambu techniques. Pretty much. As Naruto does that, at this point, he pretty much has gotten his fit from Shippuden. Right before he left, Jirai gifted him his thing as his birthday is here. Naruto and Jiraiya get ready to leave, which Jiraiya telling Naruto one thing. <clears throat> Alright, kid. It's time to go test out your skill. As Jiraiya had scattered some shadow clones around the city for Naruto to go hunt. As Naruto suddenly body flickers out of there, finding one of them as he charges at me, getting ready to send a gun punch. As it hits, 
the, surprisingly, the phone had not popped yet, sending it flying back as Naruto manages to drop kick it. Flying at him with a barrage of attack, getting ready to fire up a wind style wind bullet. As Jirai is able to counter with the earth style earth wall, speeding through hand size pretty fast. As Jirai, the Jirai clone pretty much charges at Naruto, trying to get him with the earth style earth dragon mud dragon. As the dragon goes charging at Naruto, Naruto is able to counter it. Well, not counter, he's able to get out the way. Switching with the clone he had previously made, as that clone had popped. Suddenly, Naruto body flipping behind the dry clone, punching it in the back as it pops. Naruto says, hmm, one to go. One down, two to go. As he body flickers again, running through the city, as he finds another clone near a waterfall. As this clone had suddenly turned pretty much teleported behind him and tried to karate chop him, as Naruto charges at the clone, hitting it with a barrage of attacks, creating five shadow clones as he orders them to fire off a one stop, one bullet. As Jirai is able to counter it with the uh, hair stop ninja art hairy spike jutsu. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. As Naruto is able to fire off a water stop, water tsunami, as he manages to pop that clone. As he goes for the last one, as without him knowing that last clone is actually Jiraiya, the real Jiraiya. So Jiraiya. Pretty much sees Naruto coming as Naruto starts charging at him. As suddenly, Jirai seemed to disappear out of sight, only leaving an after image. Yeah, Jirai is definitely stronger than Ganon. If I were to power scale him, he's around. Hmm. He's around Pain's level. Like the diva path, just in base form. So you can already tell, bro, it's pretty strong. So Naruto seeing the after image, thinking that's the real Jiraiya, because mind you, this Jiraiya is really fast. As he appears behind Naruto, karate shopping him. As Naruto passes out, Jiraiya picks him up, telling him. You did good, kid. As he carries Naruto back to his house, we fast forward to the next day as they're both packed, getting ready to leave the village. Suddenly, Naruto looks at Jiraiya, telling him, hmm. Alright then, I think it's time to go. As Jiraiya nods as they proceed to leave the village gates, with Naruto thinking, when I return, it won't be pretty. As during the time skip about two years into their training, one year into their training, Jiraiya and Naruto split as Jiraiya thinks Naruto should have his own little journey. As that's where we're going to leave off. Sorry, y'all. Uh, this was a... I had to make this with a really quick. Um, sorry, I kind of rushed through a few things. If I had any of y'all confused, just comment down below. Better quality, um, what if, later today. Go check that out. That's kind of why I'm rushing through this one, but I want to get out some content for y'all. So I hope you guys enjoy. Anime Sensei out.